I got a hundred and four miles to E. When I leave the shuttle on half a tank, I leave the shuttle on half a tank of gas. And the morning guy would not put no fucking gas in her. He running complain to the manager if I leave the shuttle on half a tank. But I'm sitting on a quarter of a tank, nigga. My first shuttle ride to the airport. This lady at Indigo had, I don't know if she a flight attendant or what the fuck was in her bag. She got a heavy ass bag. And I got this dude, he had a light bag. We get to the airport. She got. She see me struggling with this fucking bag. I'm in here getting her bag. She's like, I'm so sorry. I don't have any. Ma'am, shut the fuck up, ma'am. I know you ain't got no fucking tip. Just get your fucking bag and get on your flight. I hate when people apologize for not having a tip. Bitch, did you sign up? I ain't even gonna curse the guests out, man. I feel like a waiter. And, and, and I feel like a waiter and niggas still don't tip. And you know, I'm not making a decent wage. That's how, how Marriott show them driving in. You know I ain't making a decent wage in this bitch. You know you packed all that shit in that heavy ass bag, man. She had two bags, nigga. She over, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't have any cash. Ma'am, if you shut the fuck up and leave, this complimentary shuttle shit ain't for me no more, man. I'm seeing the hardships of life. But you know what? I made a thousand dollars this week, man. I'm like, whoa! I don't usually get money like this. I could go get the P5 and got a war Ragnarok at Target, nigga. I'm gonna go get the P5, nigga. Fuck these guys, man. I'm gonna be on that Ragnarok beat some ass. Let me see. It's two cars that ain't gonna let me merge. Come on with your fucking green Fiat. Gas saving bitch. Anyways. Y'all, this this job giving me road rage, y'all. I got road rage. These guests don't fucking tip, even though they getting paid more than me. It's like damn bitch, you booked a three o'clock flight. I show up, get you there. Complimentary, courtesy of the Marriott. This gas is on the Marriott's dog, goddammit. Say my personal shuttle. Who in here comment? Who in the comments, man? Eleven. Yeah, my nigga Eleven. They outside your ass to Dream Major Records, nigga. Your page do more numbers than me. Why you want to sign the Dream Major Records? Yo, nigga, I looked at your reels. Man, everybody go follow XYZ uh, Eleven. Everybody go follow XYZ Eleven, man. This nigga put the Fluke Wayne throat villains in his own song, nigga. I, all I ever wanted to do was inspire the North, nigga. My nigga said she greet me on her knees, felt like Fluke Wayne. I said, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> nigga, we gonna take over the globe, nigga. We gonna take over the globe, nigga. Dream Major Records taking over for the uh, 2000s, uh, 2020s to the uh, whenever, nigga. For the rest of the uh, century, goddammit. We taking over for a century, goddammit. I need to have me a son. Me and Gumbo need to bring our son to Earth so I can put him in a booth. I'm gonna be like, ooh, boy, spit your verse. I ain't wanna be like my dad. Yeah, I'm gonna be like bars. Ooh, boy, I'm gonna be in a booth like, I just wanna be like my daddy. I'll say, hell yeah, son. We gonna bring his sister to Earth, his other sister to Earth. I already got the baby names picked out, y'all. Y'all ready for this petty shit? I need everybody uh, tagging Gumbo in this post, goddammit. Everybody, if y'all know who Gumbo is, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Shit. But I need everybody to go tag Gumbo in this goddamn post. And be like, Fluke Wayne want to see his kids. <laughs> that woman probably think I'm a psychopath. But you know, sometimes love makes you do crazy things, kids. I'm be talking to Ubon like how I met your mother. You know, son, when I met your mother, she didn't open one of my DMs for two years. But every now and then, she hit that mention with that left my ex in Vegas on it. 
gumbo in the motherfucking skims. She put her skims on. Now she's with me. Now she acting like she killed. Put her skims on. Now she acting like she killed. All right, y'all. Back to these motherfucking uh, this Marriott rent. Before I run out of data or some shit. Actually, let me sit this down for I'm doing, man. Hold up. I'm sliding down 11 West, goddamn it. Hold on. I'm on 11 West. I can shoot to the north, but I'm on the clock. Can't do it. So, yeah, man. So, I clock in. And I don't see the shuttle when I show up. I'm like, where this nigga at? He usually be running up this bitch. I show up at 145, but 147. No, I was on time today. I was on time today. I literally did clock in on time. That's rare. You better miss me with that you're two minutes late. Nigga, have I missed a day in a year and five months? No. I don't even get to call in. My manager don't even want to bring up vacation. He don't even want to bring up the fact that I got my vacation time again because he got to work that shit. But anyways, this ain't about him. This is about Fluke Lane. So I ain't see the uh, shuttle dude. So the sales lady comes running out her office. Talk about uh, Martin got a Martin got an airport shuttle call at 135. I wanna say the fuck? I don't care. I'll be about to clock out. It'd be two minutes left for me to clock out. Her go to uh the two other properties. I do three hotels, y'all. Y'all gonna understand this shit. It's, it's, it's 943. I'm finna clock out. Brr, can we get a pickup at American? I'm like, man, what the fuck? One night I just turned the radio off on them niggas. I said, you know what? He was like, Indigo to shuttle, Indigo to shuttle. He called like three times. I said, click. Fuck that guess, nigga. They don't give a fuck about my time, nigga. What if Ubon was at the uh what if Ubon was at the uh, house crying on the floor? Of the bedroom door, by the bedroom door, cause he hungry, you know. What would you do if your son was at home crying on the phone? My bedroom door, he hungry, and only way to feed him is sleep with a man who a little bit of money is gone. Nah, that ain't gonna be Uban's future. I swear to God, with my publishing checks like triple or quadruple, I'm quitting this bitch. As soon as my publishing check starts saying uh, 5000 10000 8000 I'm getting $800 publishing checks right now. Yeah, nigga. Fluke one in this bitch. <laughs> nigga. I opened my tool core yesterday. That bitch said $867.99. What ain't nigga? I'm finna go get the P5 and God of War Ragnarok, nigga. Fuck these niggas. I'm finna start a Twitch, nigga. Actually, my Wi-Fi hella shitty at the crib. I can't even cap. My Wi-Fi hella shitty. I pay weekly on uh, Wi-Fi. I ain't got AT&T or Cox, nigga. I got banned from Cox about four years ago. When I first moved to my apartment that I'm in right now, nigga, it was like a dream, nigga. I had the Netflix, nigga. I had the Stars movie package, nigga. I, I'm in here watching shit. Big Genius was in here laid up lavish, goddammit. I was fucking throat villains left and right, man. I just slowed down, man. I fucked one church girl. She asked for a, a referral to move to my apartments, nigga. They moved her 30 steps from my building, nigga. She ain't never fucked me again. She moved all, she made a conscious decision to move all her shit to the block. Asked me for a Marriott discount for him, got granted. Cause when she let me hit, that pussy was like, holy water, drippy guts. I was like, damn, I waited nine months for this shit. I was in it. I was like, man, shit, you want a referral? I said, all right. Only reason I said all right is because the apartments had a sign up that said three fifty off rent for five months. But they've been trying to evict me for the last seven years, so uh, Big James just won't get off the block for some reason. Left my ex in Vegas is paying my rent, paid my rent in August, nigga. Apparently, it's, it, 
If I get this P5, I'm going to be late on rent, though, y'all. Fuck! Fuck! I hate working in Marriott, nigga. I can't buy shit, nigga. I can buy gas and toilet paper, nigga, and maybe a Red Baron pizza, nigga. Maybe, nigga. These fucking gas don't tip. I got to put gas in the shuttle every fucking day. I ain't with this Jeep doing. I'm trying to turn it too, shorty. All right, sure, she has a blinker, yup. I'm a slot. Yeah, and a fluke mobile, got Big Genius been in quarters in that fluke mobile. Got a bad little bitch straight out of mobile. She gonna come through and ask me to pay more bills. I said, bitch, just chill. I said, bitch, get real. These the flows for days. Man, these flows might kill. But Big Genius ain't no kill. I never saw, hold on, is that Kendall Volker? Kendall! I want you to slap me with a pillow. Shit. Let's have a pillow fight. You're going to win. She said, add me. Hold on. I got you, shorty. Let's go spin, spin the block. Yeah, Man, let's go again. Hey, how's it Enjoy going? Kendo, what's good, thug? What's up? Hey, hold on. Don't was, say nothing for two seconds. Just I listen got to you talk some. Hey, don't All say right, nothing no for worries. two seconds. Two seconds. Go ahead and no Hey, I have a one inch pickup outside of Southwest. I got 97 miles to eat. Copy that. Thank you. I and got, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> but a bitch ain't one, Kendall. Let me slide back to the airport. I, I just got back downtown. Hold on. Oh, yeah? I'm trying, to look, I'm trying to look at your shades. Hold on. Put them back on. Oh, you like those? Yeah, put them back on, big old shades, girl. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> Slay. Thank Slay. you. Girl, you out here slaying, girl. I see you. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta yeah, keep I'm the just, hand just... on. Well, hey, I just wanted to. I just wanted to say hi and see how you were doing. How are things going? Hey, it's lovely. I made eight hundred and sixty dollars from some music yesterday. <gasps> Is it yeah. happening? Are you, are you getting famous now? I'm not getting famous. They still won't follow my Instagram. They they will not follow the Instagram. But you know what? That's not the point. We grinding. Day grinding. Hey, so what I started doing, which my I was inspired by um, a really awesome, intelligent athlete. His name's O'Day Osborne, and he has a brilliant podcast. And okay. I really, I really like what not just the words and the content of his character, but like the way he um, cri clips his reels. And yes. if you look at him and see what he does, you know, I think with your music, you know, you you have your pictures on Instagram and you repost content and you share your music, but like also share the other voice, like your opinion, so that you're more relatable and people grab to, like go to you authentically because of your words. Exactly so that. You got pipes, obviously. You got bars, but like, what's the voice inside? Like, what is that? So, um, yeah. yeah. See, that's that's why I get on my see. My coworker, she was like, Trey, people want to see. They want to see your failures. They don't want to see your perfect life and new yeah. boy genius making eight hundred dollars on TuneCore. They want to see your failures. And so I start doing these lives. I think this is like my fifth, my fifth uh -huh. live or something like that. So I'm going to do these lives. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Absolutely. I'm going to do these lives a little bit more so they can understand. I'm over here at the Marriott suffering. These guests won't tell. Oh, shoot. Well, hey, I, you know, I also had a shout out to Torian MMA podcast, too, which is where I got some of the clips from my conversation from. And, I, you know, I was just. You got to move different. You got to show a little bit more diversity, you know? I mean, you have yeah. a great perspective. You've got great music. Like, really, sincerely, I think that you do. But they definitely want to know you. Like, your friend here is saying they want to know Trey. Yeah, they want to get to know the person. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a simple man. I'm just a guy trying to get it out of Tulsa. That's all. Well, keep having, keep having big conversations. Keep talking to people, and you know, just move differently. Keep it up. Hey, Kendall, we we creating content right now. You gonna be on the YouTube? Oh, this video, hi YouTube! This video, shout your YouTube out, Kendall. 
Shout out to YouTube. Uh, Kendall Volker here. I work with a couple YouTube channels and obviously Fluke Wayne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, I always like to keep you up to date with what's going on in the Miami hoods, you know, down here in uh, South Florida. <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we're going to have your, your hater blockers on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do this more often, you did. For sure. Hell yeah. Man, I just, just wanted to say, I'm on my way to work right now. I just want to say thanks for your support. I appreciate you and, and just, you know, keep grinding. If you ever want to, you know, if you ever need someone to talk to about, like, media or if you have an idea or something, like, shoot it my way. Like, brainstorm. Like, you know, I have a brain. Hey. I got you, Kendall. We we already locked in. You you like my treacherous little twin, I tell you. <laughs> my treacherous little twin. So hey, we gonna we gonna make it happen. I'm cruising to the airport to get another guest that probably won't tip. So. Oh jeez. All right. Well, I hope you get big tips today. You are the money. Don't forget that. Hey, we got eight hundred and seventy dollars yesterday. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you have a good day too. You stay wavy and keep doing oh. your thing. Oh, All right. All right, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Drive safe. One love, one love. Absolutely. Bye, man. Bye, bye. Bye. All right, man. We had Kendall call in on the Fluke Wayne hotline. God damn it! I need to make a throat villain hotline or something. Y'all can call in and tell me about y'all uh, relationship problems. That'll probably do numbers. But yeah, man, Kendall Volker, she is a pillow fighting champion. She will beat your ass with a pillow and then smile. Man, I forgot what airlines he told me to go to. Hold on. Did he say America? See, the Mary, I don't know. I'm dyslexic as hell. Shuttle to Indigo. This is worse than texting a drop in this goddamn two way radio. Hey, at the Indigo, like, what the fuck does he want? Go get the gas. Nah, Indigo really cool. They staff cool, but they guess. Hey, now let me get over. I always talk about niggas not letting people over to merge. Let me not be that nigga. Feel free to get on the highway, my nigga. Yes, sir. All right, they ain't responding, so uh, shit. Damn. All right, y'all, I'm going to probably cut this live off because uh, we got all the footage we need. We just had an all-star guest pop in on the goddamn live, man. We got all-stars out here. Shout out Kendall Volker. I'm going to have to shout her out in the song or something, man. Pillow fights in the crib. Shout out Kendall Volk. Hey. I don't know. But yeah, man. She she just made me smile. God damn it. Brightened up my day. I made $800 yesterday. And look, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all a secret. I'm going to tell y'all a secret, y'all. Normally, I get all my streams in the U.S., but for the first time ever, I had another country get more streams than the U.S. Hold on. I told my brother uh, the other night, I was on FaceTime with my big brother. <laughs> Shout out Tay Marquay the singer. He on the way. Tay Marquay the singer dropping soul, God damn it. I'm putting on for everybody, God damn it. I'm going to put on for the... I'm Suge Knight, dick. Nah, I ain't Suge Knight. I'd rather go Master P. I'm going Master P. I'm going... Ma oh! Hey, them niggas almost collided, nigga. Man, if Fluke Wayne went behind them niggas and hit that horn... Actually, I would have been involved in that shit. If them niggas would have collided, nigga, it would have been no path for me to keep... Man, these niggas stupid as fuck in this city. Boy, I tell you, man. Get your shit right, nigga. Where is your antennas, nigga? Shit. Yeah, man, I'm going to have to go live more so y'all can tap in with the boy and understand 
I'm not just some horny dude on the internet. My throat villains are really attacking the city. And if Fluke Wayne don't stop them, hold on. Swerve. What Big Sean say? Swerve. Yeah, man. I really need to take this publishing check to Soul Ray and give it all to Soul Ray. Be like, Soul Ray, whatever you did on that left mic to Vegas made us $700, my nigga. Let's do it again. My next song is I'm about to be spitting some astronomical bars, nigga. Ooh, ooh. It gives me chills because I don't know what I'm going to bring to earth. I could do that Throw Villains 2. I got a song called Throw Villains 2. Because Throw Villains right now is, is is my biggest song on the Fluke Wayne album, man. We dropped June 23rd. Shout out to Ricky P. I dropped that, uh, I dropped Fluke Wayne album on my coworker birthday. My guy Ricky P turned 60 and died from cancer, man. He said he don't want to be on earth no more. My guy was in pain. He was working valet at the Marriott. With, he, he would have been driving this shuttle crashing in his bitch. R.I.P. Richard Palmer, man. Richard Don Palmer, man. Respect to his sons, man. Shout out Zane. Shout out Aaron. Aaron's Twitter is Fat Goku. If anybody want to follow Ricky P's son, Fat Goku on Twitter. Zane got a book out, man. My... All my guys be doing shit, man. All I know is I'm a catalyst to the flame, man. I'm a motherfucking catalyst to the flame, boy. And this world shall know pain, goddammit. Flu boy. No inheritance game. I had to get it rich now. I passed this. Airbnb these flowers. I would give you these hours. I don't really get it. Fuck him like no religion. Curve me like superstition with flu wine. Hello. Oh, yeah, man, I'll be hyping myself. Nigga, I sat in the motherfucking crib and wrote that shit. I went in on a little baby type beat. Nigga, I said, this gonna inspire a nation, nigga. I'ma name the album Flu Wayne and this song Flu Wayne, god damn it. All right, once again, them niggas didn't answer. I don't know who the fuck. Uh, shuttle to Indigo. Can y'all please answer the phone, eh? I don't know if he told me American or United. Hey, man, was that a uh, pickup American? I think it was Southwest. All right, my dyslexia kicks in. Thank you, thank you. Southwest it is. Right there. He like, I don't give a fuck about your dyslexia. Get the guest, dude. All right. Get I can't have a guest on this live uh, with me cursing and saying this shit. Let me see. Who else in this bitch? Turn up. Turn up. Kendall dropped in. Got a lot of people I don't know personally, but I appreciate y'all pulling up. Let me make sure. Peregrino. Shout out to Peregrino. All these people jumping on the live, man. Tori and MMA. Shout out Tori and MMA. Kiefer Steven. Shout out everybody that came to the live today. What'd you say? Oh, let me make sure I don't hit no pedestrian. It's a family team. We got to come up together, man. We going to come up, bro. All I know is I'm thinking about riches, goddammit. I ain't trying to be a star. I've been a starving artist the last 15 years trying to get a song out. Shit. I'm trying to be a rich artist, goddammit. A wealthy artist. How you doing? She got a pink suitcase. All right, y'all. I got I to gotta end this live, man. Fluke Wayne, over and out. Oh, I'm playing. Hold on, I'm be right back. I'm be right back.
Uh, all right, we're gonna take off. We're gonna take off shortly. I just I was going live on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna end this video.